Hello, welcome back to Manor Lords. Let's carry on with where we left off. Fixing up this manor, something a little more suitable to the size of our settlement, and the impending famine, and some church upgrades. Let's roll. Okay, back in the manor, I can at least alt click and delete these kind of janky parts. And uh, let's just start with something humble. Oh. Uh, okay, there. There. And we'll just give them like a wee backyard. You know, somewhere for the kids to run around, enjoy the sunshine. While the peasants make bread. Walled it off from them though, so they can't actually just walk straight in. They have to come through the gates. <laughs> Good. Uh, and then we'll get an outer tower. Along there too. I'm just sure. Okay, hold that thought. I also see while this drama is going on that I have a little bit of flax, which is actually great news for our people because we should be able to. Can he find the right tab? Yes, he can. Okay, flax, 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 flax to produce linen, the weaver workshop. Let's do it. I'll plop it down over here-ish by the windmill. Seems like a nice spot. Crank that up. And now, instead of relying on importing those... Hey, here come the dudes. Instead of relying on importing those incredibly expensive sheep... Goodness. We're just going to make our own clothes uh, using our flax. Come on, you lot. Get to work. We've got a, a hungry winter ahead of us. And we need all of the wheat that we can get. Goodness gracious. I hope that none of it's being wasted. I'm not being alerted to it anyway. The only thing I'm being alerted of is that we don't have anyone left over to do some construction. So I'll just strip that back a little bit. Okay. Fast forward only slightly. And I have the resources now to upgrade the manor. <laughs> it's kind of in the name of the game. So I feel like it's something that I should definitely do. We have two families unassigned. So the, const Whoa, so the construction should happen fairly quickly. Especially on super fast speed. Jeez, look at that time traveler. Go you. Farmers frantically at work. Plant, plant, I was going to say planting the fields, although... Uh-oh. Harvesting, plowing, and sowing of crops has just finished as we head into another winter. Our food supply is doing better than our fuel. And that's quite concerning to me. I've been ignoring the woodcutter's lodge for quite some time. So uh, let's ramp up the production there. Let's ramp up the production of logs. We can cut back on planks for now because we've already sort of got enough for everything that we need to build. Uh, I don't think our buried, buried, buried people really did an awful lot, but that's okay. We're at least going into this winter, believe it or not, with 50% more food than last time. How about that? Construction's finished on a firewood stall. That's good. The people are... Certainly going to need some of that. Uh, and also we should have just about finished. We're about halfway through the weaver workshop. It's on high priority. We have barely any people building though. Everybody's frantically plowing the fields and chopping down firewood for the incoming winter. As approval sits just above 50%. Nowhere near as good as it was before. Looks to me like I might not have enough people on the farms. They're struggling. I mean, it's I suppose it's November. Again, it, it's hard to say how far through we are, but I don't know if they're going to get all of this work done in time. It looks like they're still frantically trying. Okay, take another one. We do have one extra, and we can keep building because somebody new just moved in. It's going to put quite a bit of pressure on my food, though, so I probably don't just want to keep building these plots exponentially. I should maybe focus now on upgrading what I've got, hey, got you, and sort of no trying to balance on. that growth growing the population and growing the place against actually making the place better quality versus quantity effectively okay well at least in the farmhouse we have flax we have wheat we have grain we have barley it suggests to me that perhaps my problem is with logistics rather than resource production it's sort of difficult to tell but i'm wondering if by adding somebody onto the more stable potentially this might be a solution to increasing our logistics and distribution here all right <laughs> 
year four through five, and it's another bare bones winter for the people of the settlement. But at least it's growing. We're making progress. We're making gains. And we should actually also, hopefully, at some point soon. We've got two people working on this. I can reduce that down to one, definitely. Because we're not actually working the clay yet. So let's bring an extra family back here. Get working on some logistics and food production. I feel like more dudes on the windmill is a great idea as well, right? I've just added an extra one. We seem to be doing all right now. People just frantically running back and forward. The oven is fairly far away. Getting an extra dude on that's probably a good idea too, as bandits come and take four berries from me. You dastardly people. Let's cut one more dude from this mining pit and add them to the windmill as well. Max it out. Hopefully that'll be enough. <laughs> oh goodness aha we can also take somebody off the berries i completely forgot i wish it would automatically do that but then again i guess that could be annoying because you might not automatically remember to do it again weaver workshop finished hallelujah let's chuck a dude on that i have somebody spare we're not doing any construction at the moment we could try and provide a little bit of extra clothes there's also a really nice overlay uh to do with the needs. I mean, not just the UI itself. At the moment, the balance still seems to be just right. We don't really have a lot left over, but I'm sort of just producing and just working enough to keep this place going. The manor now has its outer tower and some generic storage, bit of a pantry involved too, collecting only 5% taxes and giving 40% of our extra food to the church. Maybe we slash that. Times are a bit tough. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Lord and Father, Saviour. Hope you'll be alright. I think I need to put an extra dude on this communal oven. Just quickly hovering over the resources up here, I see we have 110 flour. And we're really struggling with food. So, time to ramp up the production at the oven. Might even need to get a second one if I keep expanding my farms as this place keeps growing. But this is definitely the right balance, right? Take the dudes off the mill. We have no grain. There's literally no point and these people being here. And I don't know why they can't use their common sense to come and make some bread instead. But the bread is full, got a dude left over to build, and good news, winter is leaving. The clay furnace has started plodding away, working on its roof tiles. Ding, 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 ding. We can upgrade to a small church. Fantastic. We don't have any families around to do it, so I'm just gonna quickly rob the windmill hey you you're a builder now come and upgrade our glorious church and i'll be really interested to see how much influence this gives me because the whole time i haven't really spent much i've done a little bit of diplomatic talking but certainly i haven't pressed a claim claims cost 1000 bucks as you might remember if i zoom out to this very smooth uh, worldview pan out i can claim with influence or the king's favor i'm not sure what that even is i'm not sure if it's even in this version of the game but this one clearly costs 1000 influence and there are plenty of territories to be claimed i'm at my housing cap yet again but i would really really like to just be upgrading the ones we've got i need two more of them level two and three at level three i can't upgrade them though because at the moment all they can really eat is bread like if we go to the market outside the manor and uh have a wee walker oh Oh. Bread. And we walk around. You know, you can see this place is fairly empty. Not really a lot going on. This lady's got some wood for sale. Right behind her, her number one competition, Wood Warehouse 2, also has some. This guy's got like two loaves of bread, probably the only two in the whole damn place. <laughs> some clothes, some more wood. Would really love to sell wood. And some more clothes. Not a lot of variety here. We don't have anybody selling meat sandwiches or berries. Probably need to get that tavern online too. That would be incredibly helpful. While I wait for the upgrades, I think it, it is still a good idea to get some more basic huts. Just because we're at our cap. People are approving of me. Food and stuff is actually increasing. So we're currently doing better than what we ought to be doing. So let me cram some more dudes in.
Along here is probably pretty good. Bam. Bam. That is absolutely not the way I wanted you to do that. <laughs> there we go. Much better. One, two, three, four. Is that overextending? Nah, it'll be fine. Let's get five more basic houses down up there. Adding another block to this glorious little town. And finally, this was a very long construction to get this building built. I had to free up a few jobs, sit here on high speed for quite some time. Maybe a month in game, I don't know. <laughs> but as we can see, we're now turning from Stone Ages, the age of thatch roofs and whatnot, to some nice tiled roofs. And of course we've started with the church, because where else in medieval society would you pump all of your money other than the church? Ah, okay. It looks like I do have the stone. I'm just having difficulty getting it here. It's it's arriving slowly. I should probably, though, just to be safe, chuck a dude out here. We've got some spare anyway. Go and get some stone. We're probably going to need it sooner or later. Somehow the church keeps losing its stone. Who is coming to pillage stone from the church that I'm trying to build? Oh, actually, hold that thought. I'm pretty sure, I'm just reaching for my phone. I'm pretty sure I read a tweet today from the Dev Manor Lords about churches, content creators who've already got the game. If a church doesn't upgrade, it's probably the grave digger you employed keeps stealing the stone. I've fixed it in the actual version, but I can't. Fire the guy before upgrading. Oh dear. Oh dear before upgrading. Ah, that is a, I'm going to have to just demolish it. That's a shame. Yikes. Caught out by a little bit of a bug there. Bummer. Oh, well, <laughs> you, you like wooden churches. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> ah. Okay. So, in this version, this early access version, grave diggers tank the church and keep stealing the stone. <laughs> That's why it wasn't being built. Oh, disaster. Disaster. Luckily, the supplies are right here. Shouldn't take too long to get this place built. Uh, the base church is fairly cheap. We've got all the resource we need. I can slam this one down and then, unfortunately, uh, upgrade it without a grave digger and we should be fine right bam church online now nah, i need a bit more wood do we not how did we <laughs> okay i'm gonna need to upgrade our wood production anyway as we head into winter let's go one there one there one there for now what are we at, at the moment july August, September, October, November. Okay, so I can probably keep foraging berries for a bit longer. Maybe cut one dude off that. Up our production here a bit at saw pit, because that's going to be the most important one. Plenty of timber. Far too many roof tiles. You can stop producing those. Thank you. While I was distracted trying to solve that church drama, I've run frightfully low on food and it's not even the winter time thankfully we have a wheat harvest it's only just growing minimum crop growth from any kind of harvest is 15 percent i'll slash the hunting limit on this camp down to five maybe those two dudes will be able to get out there and quickly pull in some meat just to tide me over because we are pretty close to a harvest here 33 days, 23 days, and then we'll get 111 wheat, and that should tide us through the next season. Life is tough in medieval times. Life is tough. Now, without hiring this dude, let's upgrade the church. One person could plot away and build it, and they won't have their stone stolen less time. Thank goodness for that. Okay, it's harvesting season, and just in the nick of time, because we are officially 
running out of food and exposed stocks are getting soaked. Ugh! And huzzah! The church is done! Finally, no one's stealing everything from me! And it gave me 250 influence. Okay, we've also now harvested a shite load of wheat, so it's time to fully up jobs on the windmill. Drop someone from the farmhouse, I think. Get three people going there. Two people are on the communal oven so far. Let's crank it up to three. How are we doing for fuel? Not very good. Get an extra logger. Ditch the guy from the saw pit. And it probably puts us in a slightly precarious, but gloriously religious position. <laughs> Given how much of a thief these guys can be, I don't think I want to assign anybody. Ding ding. But I also don't really need to, because we've cleaned up all of those bodies from earlier. We're no longer facing any negative penalties. Dialing down the tax a little bit has also lifted up approval, but it's not quite at that glorious 75% mark yet. These houses are looking all right. Plenty of goods now in the large storehouse. Granary. I mean, eh. Out of the sight of my eye, I've also just noticed something that probably you may have already noticed. We've really deforested this area, which firstly is a credit to Manlords because it still looks awesome and the way that it handles it I think is quite cool. Uh, but I am going to need a dude here at least, I think, to start planting some damn trees. <laughs> Otherwise, it's probably just going to be really bad for our efficiency, right? Because they're going to have to run a long way away, like these, this poor ox handler. Going to the corpse pit, I suppose. Okay. Good news is, the peasants are frantically out bending down, picking up the wheat, as you can see. Oh, uh, no, actually, it's bad news. This is barley. Any wheat? Oh, good. Quick, grab all these last little bits, you crazy people. <laughs> so hungry. So hungry. Because I can't actually afford to buy the sheep, the livestock trading post has essentially just been sitting here uh, looking pretty. This whole series. However, the trading post, I think think is still pulling in a little bit of food right food import top price 12 bucks jeez i might want to slash that because it could just be draining me of money and not really giving me a lot here's the merchant where are you going is he just making his way into town or out of town let's speed him up and find out it doesn't look like he has a big horse and cart full of meat but maybe we'll get lucky I'll speed my way through it. Get rid of this. Okay, he's stopping in. And now he's on his way. And a family is hungry. Oh dear. Looks like we did at least get some meat. But that could have been my own, right? Could have been my own. I need to keep an eye on both the regional wealth, but also my personal treasury up here. This is the stuff that's collected from taxes and used for all of that stuff that we've talked about a little bit before people are now starting to really starve how's our hunting camp doing ah it's so low the resource itself is so low in fact there's only four of them out there because i've driven it down and down and down and destroyed its sustainability they're struggling to breed i suspect <laughs> but hallelujah cast your eyes up to the top right wheat is in the house and also a bit of barley and some flax let's make sure windmill or has it already made its way to the oven no seemingly not it's stuck in the farmhouse famine is definitely now well and truly struck we're completely out of food and people are very hungry we barely get a little bit of meat, a little bit of berries, and then these guys must just jump all over on top of each other. At the now slightly sad looking market, here comes a, a new trader. Jumping up and down about some firewood, very good. Okay, good news. Shuffled some people around. I decided just in case, I'd take people off the oven because they're not cooking anything. Chuck a couple of dudes on the granary, some of our logistics buildings like the stable, just in case. But I think more importantly, giving the farmhouse as many people as I can is starting to play into my favor. Now we see wheat being turned into grain and the grain is now finally arriving at the windmill and being converted into flour. As you can see though, winter is not just coming, 
Winter is here. So, one more building needs a bit of extra loving, and that's the communal oven. Strip that back just slightly now that it's working. Two families frantically milling away. God, it must be awful conditions working in there, but let's not focus on that. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. <laughs> Do you believe me if I keep repeating it again and again? We don't need to forage at all, of course, because it's the winter time. So we can chuck those dudes and force them to make bread. Everybody <laughs> start making bread. Full on. Okay. Whew. Oh, it seems to get harder and harder each winter, which I suppose makes sense when you're the leader of such an impressive place. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, looks like we're getting there. The number of hungry people is starting to go down. Still no food yet in supply, but the windmill seems to be churning away like no tomorrow. 91 flour in there. And it is just making its way to the communal oven and then immediately being made into, baked into bread. Which is all good with me. Might just put one extra dude back there. We probably only need two people on the oven for now because it isn't getting the goods fast enough to make that sweet bread. Okay. Crisis averted. I've got 15 bucks now. Diplomacy. Mercenaries. Hmm. Okay. So, two options. First one. Ugh. Ready to rally. Ah, huh. cool. I didn't know you dudes were there. Uh, I could check the mercenaries. Sometimes some appear for 15 bucks. There aren't any here at the moment. Paid upfront of each month for service. So they're pretty dang expensive. In fact, I think they're a pipe dream. There's no way I'm going to be able to get any of those anytime soon. So why don't I spend my cash on something I've been gas bagging on about for a while now? The way to upgrade these houses. Let's try and find a cool one. Uh, this one's right at the edge. Should do. Oh, this one. Even better. Okay. Oh. Oh. Regional wealth, it must be. I can't do it with my own wealth. I can't just gift it to these people. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay. Uh, well, forget I said anything. We'll come back to that in future. Down on the ground, because of course I am one with the people. Here's somebody. Hey, dude. <laughs> you like my you like my clothes? They're way better than yours. Um, here's somebody transporting some flour, making their way. What is a fairly long way, granted, up to the communal oven, which is just one of the busiest busiest dang buildings we've got. <laughs> here's a basket of bread. Mm -mm, I might just sneak a loaf for myself. <laughs> Nobody look. I'm hungry. We've been starving for winters. No, 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 no. Look. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. She's going to get that bread. Okay, very good. We seem to have just got on top of that. Again, I, I say this every time, and every time it's true, because it continues to just get slightly worse and worse. However, I can now consider growing. Approval is up. Hungry people are down. Without any extra food in the coffers, though, I might just hold off until the end of this very harsh winter. Supply lines look good, though. Too much of that to even consider. And some of the excess is starting to make its way to the oven. It might almost be a good idea to slap a second oven down just so that I can start churning through this as quickly as I possibly can. But I think for now, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of the Manalore's saga that is. I really appreciate you watching. And so long as you're continuing to enjoy this, I'll continuing to keep playing it because, spoiler alert, I very much enjoy it too. I think Manalords is, uh, I mean, it's still, you know, a little bit rough around the edges in this early access mode, but not really. Like, apart from the, the Grave Digger fiasco, a couple of weird camera pans, things have been very good. So credit where credit's due. It, so far, and again, it's early days, but so far is looking like I think it's going to deliver on what it has promised to a lot of people. But we have plenty more to discover, so I'll see you next time.